Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Muscle Building Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a muscle building routine using the exercises demonstrated for you last week. If you missed that video, just click on this link right over here to familiarize yourself with the exercises. Before we start, just a quick reminder that if you like what you see and are interested in building some muscle, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the workouts. One thing you're going to need for the workout is a metronome and you're going to want to set it to 60 beats per minute. This is going to allow you to keep proper tempo throughout the workout as each beat is going to be exactly one second. Now, if listening to a metronome while you're working out doesn't sound appealing, not a problem. Another thing you can do is go to getsongbpm.com forward slash tempo forward slash 120 hyphen bpm and search for songs that you like to create a workout playlist. Because the songs are 120 beats per minute, every two beats are going to be equal to one second. If you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Alright, time to start the workout. The workout we will be demonstrating for you today will be a muscle building workout for your arms and shoulders. To perform this workout, there will be two different sets of exercises you will be supersetting. You are first going to superset the standing barbell biceps curl and the close grip barbell bench press. For the standing barbell biceps curl, you are going to perform five sets of four to six repetitions using a load of 82% of your one repetition maximum and using a 5-0-1-0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower the weight for five seconds and immediately lift the weight for one second without resting at the top or bottom positions of the movement. You will then rest for 240 seconds before moving on to the close grip barbell bench press. For the close grip barbell bench press, you are going to perform five sets of four to six repetitions using a load of 82% of your one repetition maximum and using a 5-0-1-0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower the weight for five seconds and immediately pull the weight for one second without resting at the top or bottom positions of the movement. You will then rest for 240 seconds before moving back to the standing barbell biceps curl. The second set of exercises you will be supersetting will be the seated military barbell press and the standing upright barbell row. For the seated military barbell press, you are going to perform five sets of four to six repetitions using a load of 82% of your one repetition maximum and using a 4-1-1-0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower the weight for four seconds Hold the weight at your clavicle for one second, and press the weight for one second without resting at the top position of the movement. You will then rest for 240 seconds before moving on to the standing upright barbell row. For the standing upright barbell row, you are going to perform five sets of four to six repetitions using a load of 82% of your one repetition maximum and using a 4-1-1-0 tempo. That means that you are going to lower the weight for 4 seconds, hold the weight at the bottom position for 1 second, and pull the weight for 1 second without resting at the top position of the movement. You will then rest for 240 seconds before moving back to the seated military barbell press. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the exercise technique videos. And if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Keep fit, have fun, and we'll see you again next week.